Welcome to Comfort Time with Auntie Junike where we share testimony stories. Today we have a special guest and our guest is Taonga. Taonga is from House of Africa. Welcome to Comfort Time Taonga with Auntie Junike. You are truly welcome. We're looking forward to hearing all the great things that we have heard so far about your organization. Thank you so much, Auntie Junike, and thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I believe we'll have a fruitful time. Great. Yeah. Taonga, what inspired you to um, launch this organization or to start this organization? All right, so uh, House of Hope Africa uh, was started uh, a few years ago uh, mm -hmm. by my directors, Michael and Christine Mesiti. And really the inspiration is as simple as they wanted to be a part of sharing the love of Jesus to anybody and everyone in every community. And so uh, they went to Mtendere East here in Lusaka, where the initial um, the initial goal wasn't to launch the organization, but to simply uh, spread the word of God. So they went there and they were in evangelizing. And as they were doing that, they noticed, you know, that there was a, a, a need in the community. Children were coming uh, to those evangelism meetings, uh, but they were hungry. Mm -hmm. They were not going to school. Mm -hmm. So that birthed in them uh, this uh, uh, you know, they, they felt uh, a call the need to, to, to help. To, to help. Yes, oh, and that's, awesome. that's how it started. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So what exactly do you do? Um, yeah, so we are a multifaceted program and um, uh, a disclaimer is we have this uh, saying and the saying is that we always stop for the one in front of us. And so our programs uh, keep evolving and mm -hmm. changing. So, but what we're doing right now is we have uh, five core programs. Uh, okay. The first one is called Educare uh, okay. Africa. Uh, that okay. one is an education and feeding program for okay. children. Mm -hmm. uh, we have what we call Clinicare Africa, where we partnered uh, with uh, clinics and hospitals. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, to oh, clinic as in clinic. Yes, I thought you meant clinic. cleaning. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Cli clinic. Care. Ah, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's the second arm. Um, uh, the third one is uh, emergency. Uh, basically, that one is where we step in in situations like right now there is a cholera ah. uh, pandemic going on, so we get to distribute chlorine. Wow, awesome! And things like that. Yeah, uh, the fourth one is called Legacy Women. So this is where we uh, get identified women in the community mm -hmm. and we have them go through uh, trauma counseling sessions, uh, skills training sessions, as well as uh, Bible study sessions. Awesome! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. So what is your day like? At the House of Hope? Yes. Um, it depends. Uh, it's a very uh, it's it's very interesting depending on the day. Um, uh, so uh, during weekdays, for um, for the most part, we have children's programs. Uh, so the educare program mostly runs during the week. We have mm -hmm. children coming on site at eight o'clock, okay. and they have their <coughs> morning breakfast, and then they have education programs going on, mm -hmm. and then afternoon they have their lunch. Afterwards, mm. the little one have the little ones have uh, sleep time, and time to just rest and relax, and uh, that's it. On Fridays, we have the legacy women. So this is when they come in for their group uh, counseling sessions, okay. tailoring sessions, and things like that. Saturdays are mostly ministry programs. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have youth ministry going on we have adults ministry and this is where we just get to study the word together and worship together and wow. just get to enjoy each other's fellowship awesome yeah. have you faced any challenges um yes definitely i think um being in our field there's so many challenges and there's external and internal challenges um one of uh one uh, some of our external challenges for instance include uh uh, things like the road, the infrastructure oh. leading to the place, because we're right okay. in the heart of Mtendere East. Oh. So with yes. the rain season, yes, with that the rain season, be easy. <laughs> <laughs> with the wow. rain season, literally the roads are impassable. We've had three people 
actually die on 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 our roads uh when it rains heavily oh my uh, god yes so we've been trying to lobby our you know our stakeholders like, yes. to see what they can do about that okay. road yeah um yeah and then our second challenge i think it's a challenge and it's an opportunity and mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the challenge aspect of it is uh the fundraising uh, aspect okay. for these programs to run so okay uh, right now uh, we do uh, fundraisers in Australia where my directors come from okay. and so we do a fundraiser and we help raise money for a particular program to run through the year okay uh, but I call it a challenge and an opportunity because one of the biggest things really we look at is uh, can we make uh, uh, can we go with a model that's more sustainable? So mm -hmm. we would like more local yeah. funding, more mm -hmm. community-based uh, effort in that area mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in the long run. And then we have internal challenges. Um, you look at, uh, we're dealing with people with, with needs and you know vulnerable families. And so uh, some of the internal challenges we find are people look at us sometimes as the savior. So as a result, Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so uh, as a result of that, you find that sometimes uh, parents and guardians completely let go of any responsibility no. whatsoever, expecting us to take oh. over. Oh, and okay. so they're like, no, that's that's not the case. You actually need to pick yes. up your child from school. Can Simple you things imagine? like that. You know, you need to address your child's behavioral issues. If you can buy a book, you can buy yes, a book. Yes, you know. You know? <laughs> so, Ish. Yeah, yeah. No, so, anything, yeah. any milestones you've achieved? Yeah, uh, so uh, I would say quite uh, quite a number. Um, mm. So we, we define uh, a milestone as not just some massive big achievement, but yeah. it for us it is okay uh, if uh, if we have children in our feeding program, for instance, mm. at the end of a term or mm. a year, mm. uh, we do these height and weight assessments, oh. uh, and as a result of the feeding, is the child malnourished or is the child uh, now healthy? Mm. Are they growing? Mm. Um, is is that happening? And we've we've noticed over the years, uh, mm. we've had healthy children who came to us and really were very more no, no, really. um, we when we first started in the community like I said my directors went in there as evangelists mm. so when we first started we didn't necessarily have some big plans for or yeah years. or even yeah. plans or even for such for such yes okay so when we moved in our first um, uh, the, the first place we had our programs was in in three different rooms mm. in, in, in compounds they call them da 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 yes, yes. Like so, <laughs> so, yeah so so we're using those three we would use you know mm. the brazier to cook and everything but you know the program kept expanding mm. and uh, one of the things we were believing for was for a, a building and property of our own mm -hmm. now remember we didn't have any Mm. big donor mm. uh, such but you know over time you know god has been so faithful so we've managed to acquire property Whoa, uh, congratulations. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we've managed to build a few more classes there that have been able to allow us to expand our program so okay. that's that's awesome. that's really been huge and then um and then i think i think that the third uh among the many is uh, we've had women who've come, for instance, to be a part of our legacy program mm -hmm. and, um, you know, women who were really abused and battered physically, emotionally, mentally, wow. come through and there are women right now there who uh, you can see even just their expression mm -hmm. is different, you know, their personality, they're free, mm -hmm. uh, they're out of their shell. Okay. Those who didn't know oh, that's how to do. awesome. Yeah, this, this, this you. Yeah, there's, one wow. lady, there's one lady who, um, she didn't know anything about tailoring. She's now using that as a, a source of income, you know, and for us, that's that's a big win. Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah, wow, that's thank awesome. You. Yeah, I'm thinking about the children. You are talking about counseling the adults. Do you also 
counsel the children because I know I've worked with children. Sometimes it's very easy mm. to pick on a child who is not okay mentally. Yeah. Are you able to help them? Mm. You're able to pick up such children, such children and yeah. talk to them just to find out where they are mentally, psychologically? Yeah, yeah definitely. And that's why, if you've noticed the name of our uh, uh, program, it's called EduCare. Ah. So we believe uh, the, the inspiration behind that was, yes, you can give a child an education by sitting mm. them in a class, ah. but if mentally they're yeah. not okay or physically they're not they are fed, not, yeah. they won't concentrate. So no, we literally, won't. an example would be, this year we've pulled uh, a few children mm. out of mainstream school okay. to literally school them. We're not a school, we're an education okay. program, but we've pulled a few children we've identified to have behavioral issues. You know, the schools try their best, but they'll be like, yeah. this boy doesn't listen. They just yeah. <laughs> don't even have the time. They don't the have the time. time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, so we've put some awesome. of those children, we are walking the journey with Whoa. them more than just their education, but it's also behavioral issues. And yeah. Ah, yeah. That's just <laughs> awesome. That's yeah. so impressive. Thank you. But we've seen many NGOs come and yeah. before long they've folded up, they've gone. What yeah. are your long term plans? Yeah, yeah. Because you're encouraging so many of um, mm -hmm. the people. Yeah. We don't want to one day wake up, they come to you and find, oh, they closed shop, they're and gone. They're gone. Yeah. Mm. yeah, no, that, that's true. Um, definitely, uh, uh, like I said at the very be beginning, the foundation of what we do mm. is to share the love of Jesus mm. uh, to many people out there. Mm. And we believe God who called us didn't call us to just come mm. and stay for a bit and then leave people in disappointment. Mm. We understand the risk we've taken. So we've okay. taken in children who are starting from grade one. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to step out in grade seven saying, no funds are finished. So okay. in order to, to ensure continuity, mm -hmm. um, uh, number one thing that uh, is our core value mm -hmm. is integrity. Okay, so, yes. people. Yeah, so <laughs> with, with integrity, um, what we ensure is when there is uh, funds coming in, when uh, people say, hey, here is some resources and I want to be a blessing to the children, we take that in and we allocate it to what it's meant for. And what that means is we get to build trust with mm -hmm. people that want to be a part of this thing. And with trust, then comes longevity of relationship with mm -hmm. our donors. So mm -hmm. that's number one. Number two is also wisdom around how um, how we use our resources. So we've been through, uh, I think we've been through one uh, cholera hit, mm -hmm. and then we had the major COVID hit, mm -hmm. and we're in the middle of a cholera pandemic again. Mm -hmm. So we have been able to plan our resources in such a way that, okay, can we plan two, three years ahead? Okay. So that in case anything happens in between, we are not leaving a child uh, hopeless, but mm. we are actually there for the child. So I think those are some of the measures we've put in place uh, okay. in order to, to stay relevant and to stay around for the long term. Lastly, uh, we are always uh, partnering with other people, organizations, churches, parents, and so on and so forth. And the idea with the partnerships is that we know God has not called us to be the only, mm -hmm. like I said, saviors. Yes, you know, yes. we, we are not saviors at all. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that we do what God has called us to do in these lives, mm -hmm. and then other stakeholders also step also, in. Yes. And stakeholders include parents, include other organizations and churches mm. so okay. yeah so individuals in, even in, anybody yes. who feels called called to be a to part. help yes. this is yeah. awesome i'm so impressed thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much no, you're doing you. great work thank you and do you have any words you would like to say to would-be sponsors would-be yeah. partners yeah yeah, yeah. sure uh, yeah uh, I, I believe that um each and every one of us is called to be a blessing mm. to somebody else. Mm. I think a lot of times we uh, get to look at ourselves and you look at your bank account or mm. your resources and you think, ah, forget it, I can't be a blessing. Mm. But the reality is there's somebody out there 
who can actually use what you have mm -hmm. so a, a blessing is not just money it's time it's uh, it's your talents it's mm -hmm. it's it's your prayers it's mm -hmm. so many ways in which you can be a blessing to others mm -hmm. i'll give you uh, a simple statistic um it costs us an average of five quarter per mm -hmm. day to actually feed a child the two meals that okay. we get to feed them in a day okay so if you have 10 kwacha in your bank account it means you can actually help a child for one day with half of that amount wow. now putting that into perspective mm -hmm. it means that a lot of us are more privileged than we actually realize yeah. and god has actually for given sure. us more than we actually realize so yeah uh, i would like to invite anyone who would like to be a part of this initiative mm -hmm. uh, please feel free to reach out uh, we can share the details with you uh, we would like to raise more local support uh, mm -hmm. like i said earlier because mm -hmm. at the end of the day we are not just working alone like i said we are working with all of you together we can do more for sure thank you so much together we can do more yes. so here you have it this is something that is so awesome something that is uh, a blessing and not only to the people you are blessing but to yourself because remember whatever you do to the least of my brothers you do and to me so let's do whatever we can to partner with africa house of africa so that we help as many children adult women as possible you are going to be blessed and you'll be amazed how happy you feel when you do something for some somebody else so do what you can do for someone else and you will get the blessing you will get the joy thank you so much for coming to comfort time i'm sure this video is going to help so many people understand it has helped me to understand imagine i didn't even know that <laughs> so it has helped me to understand and um this is going to help many other people who maybe have the 10 questions to bring it to you and to help with um, <clears throat> your project. Wow, thank so you. So stay blessed. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So there you have it. I think Taonga has walked us through everything that they are doing, their hopes, their challenges. So please, it takes five kwacha to feed a child. I'm sure all of us can afford a five kwacha. If you have a 10 kwacha, you have 100 kwacha, please let's find a way of supporting House of Africa so that they can help more people and uh, like i said you'll be so blessed yourself you'll be so happy you'll be moving joyously not knowing why you are so happy it's because you are blessing so many others so please we are waiting to hear from you share in the comments below what you're going to do to be waiting have you also ideas that can help grow this organization share in the comments below so that we can learn from you and we can engage so comfort time continues stay blessed see you in the next video